Hello everyone, Naturalist John from Salt Fork here. I hope everybody's doing well and I hope you're enjoying Memorial Day weekend. Um, so today I've got two species of toads that are native to Ohio um, to share with you. I've got the American toad and we know this is a toad because it has dry bumpy skin unlike a frog that has wet slimy skin. And if we take a look at this animal's feet it has really lightly webbed feet. Now they can swim, but most often they are uh, on dry land. You can find them in your yard, um, places like that. So this is an American toad. Now I know it's an American toad because if I turn it over, see those uh, spots on its back with the little wart inside of it? Now we're calling them warts, but repeat after me, you cannot get warts from handling a toad. The most you're gonna get is peed on. That's one of their defenses. Uh, but if we take a look at those spots and warts on its back, an American toad has clusters of one, maybe two spot or two warts per spot, uh, and the other toad has something different. I'll show you in a second. Um, but toads are really fascinating. They're actually they're poisonous. Now I said poisonous, not venomous. They can't bite you or sting you or anything like that. But if I were a hungry possum and I came along and found this nice juicy toad and tried to eat it, um, these glands right behind the toad's eye, these kind of kidney bean shaped glands, uh, would excrete a milky white uh, foul tasting substance and I probably wouldn't try to eat any more toads. So pretty cool, whoop, <laughs> uh, an American toad. So the other species that I have today uh, is a fowler's toad, very closely related, the two species are very closely related. Um, only this one, if we take a look at the spots on its back, there are clusters of three or four warts per spot instead of just one or two. Uh, and they also sound a little bit different when they call. Now, uh, I know this one is a male because when I picked it up, it started chirping at me. And male toads, when you pick them up, they'll chirp. Uh, female toads will not. Um, now, if you remember in the salamander video I did a while back, uh, I talked about vernal pools. Well, toads are another species that utilizes vernal pools and uh, fishless water to breed in. They'll lay these long strings of eggs uh, in the springtime. So this is a fowler's toad, pretty fascinating. You can find these all over Ohio, they're pretty great. Uh, we wanna remember these are wild, even though they're cute, they're not pets, these are wild animals. So we're gonna let both of these go, uh, no matter how cute they are, don't keep them. Um, and I hope everybody uh, stays safe this weekend. Remember, practice uh, responsible recreation all weekend and go out and have some fun. Uh, I hope to see you very soon. Thanks.